Hello everybody, today I'm gonna show you an interesting feature in Paraview which is plot of a line. So here is my test case in open form. All the results is called Reality with K Epsilon Mesh 1 test case. So I'm gonna run Paraform to analyze my case. Gonna take a while. So here is my case, so I go to the last time, ran for all the fields and apply. So here is my result, here is my velocity. What I want to do is to plot the, the velocity magnitude along uh, a line. So here in filter I'm gonna search plot over line and I give the coordinate of the line two points the, f the, the first point and the last point for my first point it's in 0 0.6 to um, to 0 0.6 then y I want to choose it from here to here so it's from 0 to 1 and for z it's 0 1 fixed in 0 so this is the standard visualization that I'm having now I can customize my output so if I just want to see the velocity it's ux or uy or uz here for example if I want just to keep ux just need to uh, check here in check for the other components then for the color if I want to to change the color of the graph I have to uh, just click here in the color here and then go and change it to uh, this color for example also for the legend I can choose my legend for example um, I don't know uh, u u or u x small x or something like this according to your need here again we we can customize the limits of our axes uh, we can add a title for example in the left axis is for velocity i can add velocity for bottom axis it's arc length or in my case it's the y direction so here I can add it also for the title I can add a title uh, for example it's uh, velocity versus y then for the range of y for example if I want to visualize only from 0 0.1 to 0 0.4 and ignore all the rest so my graph will be cut here in 0 0.4 other thing here I'm plotting uh, I'm plotting u, uh, ux the velocity against arc length you can actually inverse it so we will have the velocity in the bottom and y here in the left axis so what we have to do is to choose u x here and then check point y
but here I don't have to customize the RAM so I yes this is it so I'm giving my velocity from minus 1 to 11 and then y is here and also I have to inverse y with velocity in the uh, in the vision so here I'm gonna keep it as it is here it's point y and here it's the length here is ux now if I want to add another plot over line so I'm gonna select this again and recent plot over line now I'm gonna add another line parallel to this one but here so my x is 0 0.7 my y it's from 0 to 1 z 0 1 0 7 and here it is here I have another graph in other window so what if I'm interested to add this graph here well all I need to do is to close this and then click here and view it but for this plot of a line I have all these variables so I need to check one only one let's let's say it's ux so I have different colors because for the first plot of a line I have the red color and for this second I have this orange color I can name it here So its name is UX, it's by default. I can make it UX, for example, at, uh, X, at X equal to 0 0.7. And for here, I can name it UX at X equal to 0, uh, 0 06, it was 0 06. So here I have my two graphs. So if I want to do screenshot, it's save screenshot. And I save it here. It's graph UX. And if I want to visualize my, my data, if I want to extract it in order to process it using, uh, for example, Python or Excel or other tool. So it's quite simple. I can go here, plot of a line. I have all the variables. If I want to extract only, uh, only uh, the velocity, I have to keep only you so you yes so here i have the point x y z and here i have the three uh, composants of u so i can delete also the pressure vtk and y plus and here i click here then in post processing i can save it here it's a uh, plot plot over line one and I have my CSV file here is the screenshot that we've made and here is the CSV file if I need to process it using another tool just a moment so yes I can take my velocity here, ux, uy, uz, and x, y, z. And you can do similar things uh, with other variables, for example, kinetic, turbulent energy, or epsilon, or whatever. It's the same principle. So, thank you for watching, and see you in another video. Bye!